is Scrappy Peep Susanna here today with my paper person kit, the October kit, sharing my first completed layout with you. Um, I have created a hybrid layout, so I've taken the 3x4 pocket cards, I've played with them in my uh, Photoshop, and created some 3x8 cards. So those are the 3x8 cards. I'm showing you the things that come in the kit and then the inks that match. So don't forget that Paper Person has some really amazing inks and they match so, so well. So that white obviously is not in the kit. That is my white. Um, I printed it twice is what I'm trying to show you is the different hues of blue there and then how that's more of a greeny blue. Um, and yet no matter what setting I got, I was not able to get the same color, but close enough. Um, it's interesting how, depending on the settings that you use, how you can get two very different looks. So I went with the uh, more matte looks because they were the closer uh, match to what I, the, the closer match to the kit as well as uh, what I wanted. I felt like even though I printed on matte photo paper on the glossy ones, um, that they were glossy. And I, it was bizarre to me that it was matte photo paper, but gave you a much glossier look. Anyway, so I have three of the four by three by four cards that I have converted to three by eight, um, and I'm going to use them as columns on my layout for four of my, I believe they're two by four photos, two by 2.5 by five photos. Let's go with 2.5. Um, and then I wanted a little bit more blue, so I knew I was going to cut into one of the pattern papers. The, it, it's more of a variegated blue. So I'm looking, um, at the cards and at the papers and just sort of sifting through my options thinking uh, definitely not scissors. I thought maybe that bluey gray might go um, just to add a different blue but it there's no that same blue isn't anywhere else. Um, I really liked that pattern but again it, I really wanted blue. Um, I needed something to complement the blue in that second strip from the left hand side there and so I go with this Paige Evans um, pattern paper and I'm going to just trim that down to three by eight so that it is the same size as the different strips that I already have on the page there. Um, I go with the darker var variegation um, and leave the lighter alone and I try and cut into the paper so that I can still use it as a 12 by 12 strip at the top if I so choose. I love the way that that blue really pops that picture that doesn't have my husband with his blue shirt in it. Um, so it pulls all the, to get the colors together super nicely. Um, I want to have just a little bit of overlap in these and I definitely want them to look kind of more like a carousel going up and down um, for some movement on the page. Uh, there's, it, it, this is a sort of fall color based layout. I was pretty proud of myself for being able to use this for not crafting, not fall, um, but it is about a apple bourbon smoked drink um, and so with the apple and the apples in it it kind of is fall-ish but that is not really the theme of the layout. Um, so a little bit about the photos um, for our wedding anniversary I gave my husband a, a smoker um, so you can smoke cheeses and uh, alcohol and meats um, with it and it says to smoke them in a well ventilated area. Uh, we thought that maybe an open concept kitchen might be, you know, well ventilated enough. Well, transpires, we probably should have done it in the garage or outside. Um, <laughs> the whole house smelled rather smoky. It smelled good. Um, the taste of the drink was absolutely amazing. So that is what these photos are. Uh, the one of the left is of him lighting the wood chips in the smoker. The second is of the smoke in the dome, in the glasses. And there's a close up of that in the third photo. And then the fourth photo is me holding the uh, drink that he made us with our smoked glasses. So I've added a little bit of uh, jute to that card there. Um, I hole punched a half hole, so it kind of mimics the ticket that's on that left hand side with the A is for autumn has arrived. Um, and I like that. That's a little trick that I like to use when I'm using twine or uh, jute or baker's twine because it holds the string um, and it can't slide down the page. So with your kit, you also get some embellishments this month, which is super awesome. As a scrapbooker, I feel like I always need more embellishments. Um, I really wanted to use those tags to hide um, a little bit of that photo there, but that pink doesn't really end up anywhere else in the layout. Um, 
it is, but it's not. It's a slightly different hue of the pink. Um, and I felt like it was obstructing my husband's head and ruining those columns. It, it disturbed the columns. So I will ultimately end up leaving those alone. So I also in Photoshop um, blew up that card with the mushrooms and the leaves, the fungi, um, a little bit bigger and created different sizes so that I could cut a few more embellishments. Uh, I am going to fussy cut acorns and the mushrooms or fungi, depending on how you want to reference them. Um, and I'm going to use those along with the puffy sticker buttons that I completely forgot about um, showing you in the beginning when I showed you what came with the kit. So I will in a minute pull those out once I have created pretty much the essence of my background there. So that is the essence of the layout. It's just time to add a little bit more to it, which you can see I'm already starting to do. Um, I think honestly what ends up happening is I end up having to go to dinner um, or go cook dinner, I should say, um, and then I come back and finish the layout. So I'm popping some of these elements up off the page. Again, when you put a mushroom that you fussy cut from the entire collection um, to add some depth and make that one more distinguished, I like to use foam. Um, and you can see how the colors go so well together. Um, and there's a lot of movement on the page, but yet it's not too busy that you don't get the essence of what is going on there. So see, I, I, I'm going to shuffle these tags around a little bit. I do the Susanna shuffle because I really wanted to incorporate them. Um, I really felt like a blue element belonged on the left-hand side of that page. Uh, and I wasn't sure how to incorporate that. I got so hung up on having to use the tags that I couldn't see beyond them. Uh, I will move on, don't worry. Um, and they will actually get cast aside in favor of something else, which should be coming up soon. But I, I, you can see I'm, I'm bound and determined to somehow get those on there. So uh, these are the puffy buttons, puffy sticker buttons uh, that I for, had totally forgotten about. So it's just as well that I had to step away. I cut another one of the mushrooms and I'm going to put some jute uh, in one of these buttons and stick that beside and that creates a perfect transition between that mustard yellow and the blue there. Uh, not the card. One of the things I am going to do off camera, and so that blue card beside it, the one that says today, um, I will journal there and I will also, you'll see later on in the video, I'm going to house my title there. But you can see how that blue sort of, uh, the white of the white background melds into the white of my cardstock. So I am going to take a similar colored pen, that bluey smoky gray, um, and trace around the outside of that. And you'll see that in the close-ups, how it provides just a little bit more d distinction and definition between the page, uh, the element really, and uh, the cardstock. So there's how I incorporate that blue, is just with a little bit of freckled fawn washi there. Um, the other thing that I am going to do off camera, if you follow my work, you know that I, I like, I don't like my pages. I like to have a header or a footer or a beginning and end to my pages. And I definitely have a right and a left beginning and end, but I feel like you get, you kind of fall off the edge of the top and the bottom of the page. So I'm just going to take a super fine uh, brown pen and just draw lightly two lines across the top and the bottom overlapping where my shaky hand makes some overlap and I'm not worried about that um, and it just it draws the whole thing together and adds to that organic feel of the fall layout with the jute and the fungi and all of the fun things. So I definitely feel, feel, felt like that blue needed just a touch of color to it to ground it. Um, and the selvage strip from one of the pattern papers up the top there, you can see is just absolutely perfect to pull that whole column together nicely. Um, I wanna put a few more of these buttons. Uh, I bought a second set of them. I liked them so much that I definitely have enough that I can scatter, sprinkle a few more sprinkle a bit more love here and there. Um, and I love the way that that red, again, just adds just that little bit of oomph to the layout. 
So I'm showing you this because um, I really I have these uh, burlap letters, chipboard letters that I loved and they would look perfect on the page. I just could not make them fit. So I surrender. I deleted five minutes of me literally shuffling them around um, and I settle on these Evalicious letters from a uh, Coco Daisy kit from way back when, um, and I'm going to use that as my title for Smoked. And it wouldn't be a Susanna layout if we didn't do the Susanna title shuffle. Um, so we're going to shuffle them over a little bit. And that, my friends, is going to wrap up my paper person, my first project for the month. Be sure to head over to Sarah Scrap's channel and see what it is that she has created with the kit. Enjoy the close-ups. Thanks for stopping in today. Come back again soon. Take care.